Good morning, boys and girls. Today we celebrate Pentecost in our church. Pentecost is about the Holy Spirit. And the best way that I can explain the Holy Spirit is using the word power. Now, if I have this flashlight here and there's no batteries in it, there is no power coming. Well, I'm gonna share a story that happened to the apostles and the followers of Jesus because they knew about Jesus' love, they knew about the gospel of Jesus, but they didn't have power. They didn't have the power to go and do what they needed to do. Well, one night, the apostles were meeting together in a room and they were praying. They were praying to God and Jesus to show them what to do because they didn't know and they were probably scared. They were probably scared about the Roman soldiers coming and getting them. So they met in quiet places. And this particular night, as they were praying, the wind picked up. Now I'm going to show you what that might look like. The wind picked up. And as the wind picked up, flames of fire came and danced on the apostles' head. Now you can see behind me, the flames of fire. And these flames of fire bounced in, on the apostles' head, but did not burn them, did not hurt them in any way. And they were filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Now I'm gonna put the batteries back in my flashlight and turn it on and there's power. Now I'm not going to shine this on the camera so you can't because otherwise I'll blind you. But there is light coming. The flashlight has power. When the Holy Spirit comes into our life, we have the power to share the gospel of Jesus and to share his precious love. Now another thing that happened, and I think this is the coolest thing, is that the apostles were told they had to go out into the world to share his love. But they didn't know how to speak all the different languages. Well, not only did the wind pick up that day in that room, did the fire of the Holy Spirit go and give them that power, they also started speaking in different languages. Now, boys and girls, I don't know about you, but I have taken classes to learn how to speak Spanish and French. And to this day, I still cannot speak very much of it. Now, I realize it was many years ago, but you'd think some of the words would have stayed. I do know some words, though. And I think it's cool that all these languages the apostles were able to speak. Now, I'm going to say hello in some different languages. Well, you know, hello in the USA or hi. Aloha is another one that some states use. Bonjour. Um, hola. How about jambo? And ni hao. And konnichiwa. Guten tag. And my favorite, namaste. I believe that's hello in Indian. Boys and girls, may you be filled with the Holy Spirit. May he give you power to go out and share with your friends about the gospel of Jesus and his precious love. Let's pray. Dear Creator, thank you for these boys and girls and for all the people in the world. Thank you for the different languages and for the opportunity to be able to speak to others and share your precious love with them. Be with each of us as we continue to do your work in our church. Amen.